Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ramble SP Season 2 and welcome to the last video of Ramble SP Season 2. First, I do want to apologize for the length in between this and the last Ramble SP video, which in fact is 10 months. But uh, let me explain. Season 2 has officially ended. It did end a while ago, but we just didn't announce it as such. But we were struck with a wave of inactivity. Which is a shame, because we really did have a really good start going. But it happens in the SMP world, and when it does, it can be very hard to recover. Good news is, though, with the Minecraft 120 released, we are more excited than ever to get back together again. That's right, Season 3 is happening, and sooner than you may think. By the time you are watching this video, the server will have already launched, group event has been held, and people are in the process of making their first episodes. Not to mention, we have brand new members in the group as well, which is absolutely amazing. On my end, I am quite busy, so videos might not be flowing at you like a raging river. However, I am here and I'm very excited to get started. With that said, Season 2 World is up for download. I highly suggest taking a trip around the island and look at everything that has been built throughout the season because we have some really, really amazing projects around here. You can find the World Download linked down below in the description or go to ramblecraft.xyz our website. However, with all the information out of the way, I do want to take a look at some of the things that I managed to do in this season that I am pretty happy with. First of all, we got uh, this road. I'm very happy with how this road turned out. Big project for me, but we actually managed to do it. And this sign as well, leading us straight into the village here with this road leading us up road to the nether okay this could i have bigger plans for this area but we'll just ignore that for now but one of the main projects for me was of course my house the very first thing that i started working on and i'm very happy with how this turned out this was really my first time trying out building with like a, a proper build like a proper build and not just digging into a mountain and calling it home like look at this i even added diorite together with calcite to try and make a, a little bit of a fade, you, you know what I mean? A, a little bit of a transition for the, 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 yeah. The, yeah. I'm also very happy about the interior on the inside here, like with the stairs going around like a panel. And I actually did, I actually did decoration for once. I actually managed to decorate this place, I think, pretty well for my first time starting out like this. And I'm very happy with how this turned out and I have really enjoyed using this house. And probably one of the best features ever is this balcony, because that's my view. This, however, was not here last time and come on. Anyway, let's ignore that for now and head on over to the market. This, if I don't recall wrongly, was my second big project, making all of these different stands and my focus was selling things that was 1.19 related like the glow squid ink sack glowing item frames amethyst tinted glass that kind of thing however my most successful business was the netherite uh the ne netherishes the booth of netherishes and then my sulking shulkers which i never really restocked so oops but i really love how this turned out colorful colors I, I absolutely love this place and the fountain in the center. My second biggest project was probably this storage barn, which unfortunately I didn't get to use that much because from the first time that I made it and then onwards, it was kind of broken until I managed to finally fix it. Uh, so I think it is fixed now, but yeah, I'm so happy I made this. Maybe I'll make this again in the future. It's definitely very, very cool to have. Um, when, when it's actually working, that is. And then finally, we have the mine, which I'm very happy how it turned out as well. We have these things, the cranes and whatnot here in front. This part is not as pretty, but if we head down towards the bottom of this place, we get to the point that I'm actually really happy with. I had bigger plans with this as well. We were planning on making a connection of, tr or a, um, a network of train stations and rail tracks around the entire island, connecting all the bases. Unfortunately, we didn't get further with that. I was planning on adding a super smelter here, as well as a fuel generator over here. I think my idea was a kelp farm, then feeding into the big the big smelter. Uh, unfortunately, I never got that far. We got the glowing sack farm right here, which I'm really happy with. I made that actually pretty early as well, trying to get some glowing sacks. And then we have the long hallway, leading us all the way down to the amethyst room which is where I got all my amethyst crystals. Unfortunately, I did manage to break some of these budding amethysts, but I think we did all right making this. 
and then the scaffolding as well all the way around so I can actually manage to farm this up at, at somewhat ease and bridging up every time. But these are just my builds. Definitely go ahead and download the world and check out the entire island and look at everyone's creations. Again, linked down below in the description. Speaking of the description, go ahead and check out our community server as well because we will be posting our Season 3 videos in there so you don't miss them whatsoever. And also check out all of the Rebelcraft members, old as well as new, over at our website rebelcraft.xyz. Direct link to the members page is down below in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching, thank you for a great season, and I cannot wait to see you in Season 3. Have a wonderful day, and until then... Goodbye.